Let's check the news. Hey Octavian, how are you doing? In a prime time to see me look me take first look at some news. Okay, do I look at the do I look at the unique first or do I look at the announcement post? The veil world mods. Which one do I take? Yeah, sub then. The first one to say some either one, we're gonna go. You're got you're the goddamn streamer, you choose, but I choose by telling you to choose for me, okay? That's my that's my decision. Okay, veiled mod. Okay, we go with that. So that's announcements. Mm -hmm. Let's let's get some ambient music, shall we? Go, let's go, let's go to Act Two this time, okay? I think Act Two is good. One hour video. I'll try to keep it short, okay? Veiled mods, focus. So it's like category of whale mods, and you're gonna have a multiple different. Okay, I'll just read, okay? Among the many new whale mods coming the, into Betrayal League are those that introduce the new focus skill. Wait. Many new whale mods coming into Betrayal League are those that introduce the new focus skill. Wait, are we gonna have a skill built into as a focus? Like, as a veiled mod? What? A new cooldown skill that is customizable by your items. Okay. Focus is a new in is a new instant cast skill that gives you a buff for a fixed 4 seconds. Okay. It's important, it's... It's gonna talk about saying. When used and has a 12 second cooldown. The buff also... Wait, the buff has no effect by itself. But there are there are a large number of veiled modifiers that grant effects while focused. Oh, so that's why... Okay. When you have any of these modifiers, you can then bind the focus skill on your... On your skill bar. Can, can I just stop at here and just say that can we like get shift and then it's like when when we when we you know we shift it swaps your like skill bar here and you get more you know stuff okay can't please we're getting the banners we're getting the banners and bands and now this Where the fuck are we gonna put this? Not bands, brands, sorry. Brands and banners, right, but yeah. Where the fuck are we put gonna put this? Okay, let's take a look. You can find focus modifiers as one of the options when you unveil an item. Here are some examples. Ah, do -do 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 -do. Brands are damage skills. Oh, I mean, okay, fair, but then we still have, br then we still have the the banner and then we have the well now the focus 1% of evasion rating is regent as life per second okay so what's the what's the gap for what's 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 the gap again for the uh queen of the forest was it like 35k or 30k or whatever i don't remember it's some. It's something. It's it's more than thirty k. I just don't remember the exact number. Okay. One percent per four. Oh, so it's forty five thousand. Okay. So if you if you played those builds, let's assume that you could have this on a non chess piece, just for the sake of example. So this would give like what one percent of that. I mean, it's like four hundred and fifty region. That's fine. Not bad, I guess. For a suffix. I mean, region is a suffix too, so it makes sense. Hmm. Okay. 
I wonder what they're gonna what they have in store for ES and armor. Your critical strike chance is lucky while focused. That is a an offensive suffix on a belt. That's a diamond. That's a fucking diamond flask in one suffix. Obviously, uptime could be an issue. Shocks nearby enemies for four seconds. And you focus. What is the base shock with items like this again? Was it 15 or 10%? Like I'm, I don't I don't remember what what was what's the percent the percentage you get from them, or the penny percent I don't remember. Because uh, I know I I think Winktar was because they changed it at some point, and Winktar has its own right. Winktar is ten percent increased damage taken, and then we have Ball Lightning Trap. Which is fifteen percent. So is it ten, fifteen, twenty? It doesn't it doesn't qualify the the effect of it. So I would assume it's like the minimum oh, yeah. I'm, I assume somebody has already answered this in the Reddit or something like that. Okay. That's again an offensive suffix. That's an offensive suffix. Other non sources of shock, unless other aspects in the debuff. Yeah. Yeah. 20%. Just didn't remember. Because they have they have changed that so many times in the past. I. I can't keep up with it anymore. Also, we need to know what the nearby is. I had I had a rant about this. But let's just go let's just go uh BOE distance. Let me let me just you know fuck up with your brain a bit. Since they're veiled, it's they are craftable. Yes, once you unveil them. Okay, so we have you know the units, we have the picture and whatever. What do you show that there? Yeah, that's fair. So we have just you know it shows the unit. Oh, yeah, yada 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 yada. Melee attacks, projectile. Ah, yada yada. Elders hideout. Yeah yeah yeah. Minion instability, explosion radius. Point blank. 40 units. The definition of nearby on a unique item Victarious Charity. And previously for Ascendancy Notables. 15 units. The outer radius uh, on unique item Victarious, Victarious Flight. And deficient, de definition of nearby on a unique item Pericles Stow. 60 units. The definition of nearby on an Ascendancy Notables. 75 units. The definition of nearby unique. On, on unique items, League Cast and Time Breath. 120. The definition of nearby on passive Keystone Conduit. So. You know? Let's just leave it at there. Okay. And the last one. That is also a suffix. Trigger a socket that spells when you focus. Hmm. Okay. With a 12 second cooldown. 
What would you want to cast every 12 seconds? I don't know, something like a golem? This, 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 you could use this mod to cast golems. For builds that don't have golems to survive. Portal. There's shit like Blood Rage, Molten Shell. Uh, I guess Banner? I wonder what this will do for Wall Auras. So if you have Wall Aura, right? Will it like proc the, the wall of it? No. Oh, it's a trigger, never mind. It's a trigger, so it doesn't work. Well, things don't get triggered. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. They can't be triggered. I I didn't pay too much attention for the uh the the word trigger in there. Okay. It will circumvent mana costs. Yes, you can you can you will be able to ask things with absurd mana cost with this because it triggers the spell. Triggered triggered spells do not uh consume mana. There are definitely things you can put in there. And this is a suffix slot, so you could use you could have the you you could use that for the sake of convenience of casting like a golem or something like that. There's 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 some interesting stuff you can probably do with this that we just don't think about yet. All of these modifiers are craftable after being unveiled. Makes sense. Then you keep using an effect you enjoy on any new items you find or crafting multiple items to combine effects. The very well of above. You'll always be given other options when unveiling a focus mod, so you don't have to use the focus system if it doesn't fit your build. Okay. Now, let's go back. Re let's rewind back. Focus is a new instant cast skill that gives you a buff for a fixed 4 seconds. Can you guys come up with any, any other skills that have a fixed duration? Fortify doesn't have a doesn't fortify doesn't have a fixed duration because it has it has a duration from quality. EO isn't okay. EO and every recently is a fixed duration and isn't affected by temporal chains. Play for it. Play work. Oh, Play vortex. Blade Vortex has a base duration. I'm just wondering if this, the, the fixed 4 seconds means that... Will it be coded in a way that Temporal Chains doesn't do anything for it? I would assume they co they're coding it so that you can't increase the duration with Temp Chains. Because if it can you will be able to have a permanent focus. How you get focus? You get it, you, uh, they say here. Uh, somewhere here. When you have any of these modifiers, you can then bind the focus skill on your skill bar. Yeah, if temp chains affects this, you will be able to have a per permanent focus effect. I mean, for the most part, this is when you use it, right? This is when... You, I'm assuming when you focus, it means when you cast it. Yeah, this is while focus. So while focus is up, you get it. This is when you use it. This is when you use it. This is while you have it up. So if the temp chains affects it, you can literally have a diamond flask in a belt suffix permanently. Literally, perm, like, just like that. Focus as well. You can't link it. You, you are granted the skill focus when you have 
a unveiled modifier, sorry, veiled modifier that benefits from it. So, yeah. So you can't link it with anything. It's just it's just a random, you know. Grantless some duration that doesn't get affected by the temp chains. Yes. Every everything that is recently doesn't get affected by it. So the grand the grand example is why okay, while this isn't recently, this is go that I mean, recently is in the past four seconds, right? This is just basically double the duration. So, like, mechanically, if your crit in the past eight seconds is a recent modifier, and that's why temp change doesn't affect. But when they say fixed, that's why I'm thinking about, is there any other modifier, is there any other durations what actually have fixed dura duration? Here we fix duration. Let's Google it because I don't remember. Because it doesn't say base. If a thing has happened in the past, X time isn't the same as when X thing happens. Okay, and eight single buffer. No, Octavian. Uh. This is this uh, this is exactly like recently. It's actually Mark explained it somewhere. Oh wait, it's not Mark. It's uh, Kyron, but it's a GDG respond anyway. So, so here we have. Elementor overload not affected affected by temporal chains. And here we have it is intended recent effects don't get increased by temporal chains. And the recent this is literally just you could if you if you have a crit recently, could be the wording, but then it would just be four seconds. So they just you know actually typed it in there because it's more than four seconds. But the wording, right, so we have the wording fixed, would make sense that doesn't affect it, but you could also just argue that they, they type it fixed because it's different from a base duration, right, because if it was base duration, then shit like these would affect its duration, right? But temporal chains isn't exactly affecting the duration of your skills. It's slowing the time. Oh, wait, uh, we can actually get the exact wording instead of me trying to... Right, temporal chain says reduce... Uh, other effects on cursed enemies expire 40% slower, right? So the big question is, will this line here affect it? I would assume, like, I mean, when looking at these mods, like when looking at this mod alone, does temp chains affect Fortify? It does, but Fortify doesn't have a fixed duration. Fortify has a base duration that cannot be modified with increased duration modifiers. But you can increase the duration of it with quality. Focus is effect on you, so why would it work with temp chains? The same reason why every other non recent effect works with temp chains and eo is a recent effect yeah yeah you curse yourself with the gura gloves and then you use calm's roots to negate 
Calm's roots removes the this effect from you. Well, removes and removes. If you if you have shit like if you are if you're a dead eye and you have Why don't I why why don't I remember the word of the the the, the buff that gives you speed, animation speed. The, the, it stacks with this. So if you if you're if you're a tailwind, thank you. If you're a dead eye, you have tailwind and you temp change yourself. You're actually lowering the effect of your tailwind. An acceleration shrine and then the belt, the the harpy belt. Yeah, I guess this is just we need to get an. Uh, we ju we just either need to test it, or we need a GGG to clarify it. It does. Oh no no no! I'm talking about this. No, I'm not talking about this line. I'm talking about this line. Yeah. Because the. Temp chains, uh, the, the comms rule just makes it so that you cannot be sl slower by base speed, right? But if you have tailwind, you're increasing your base speed. I mean, you're not increasing your base speed. You're just giving, you're increasing your speed, but this then lowers the, lowers it. I was wondering. Oh, I mean, we'll be talking about that for now. We're just like. The, the bottom line is, we just don't know until we test it or GDG comments on it. You can argue in favor of it, it should work, and you can argue in favor of it shouldn't work, based on this. I just can't think of any other... Anything else that has fixed duration, quote-unquote fixed duration. I guess technically, recently is a fixed duration of four seconds, but but this isn't the same effect as recently. But if it works, when it also increase the cooldown. I mean, it doesn't increase the cooldown of the like. It doesn't increase the like it doesn't increase soul gain prevention. So, I don't know. It do any skill that has a cooldown doesn't get slowed down by temp chains. So, like if you cast immortal call, like the the skills cooldown isn't affected by it. Any there's there none of the skills cooldowns aren't uh, aren't affected by temp chains. So I would assume this doesn't either. But yeah, it's just fixed. But I've been talking about this shit for like, I don't know, in circles for like 10 minutes now. So let's just, let's just go on to the next topic. Inter interesting stuff. So now we have a new unique. Hey Carl, Hardcore is dying. Can you do something about it? Write a super in-depth pros, cons, mainly pros, ready thread, clean up misconception and stuff. And then get downwarded to hell if I mention the word hardcore and softcore. Like that one one third about the mine thingy. That's good, man. World Carver. Level 20 Arcane Wake. After spending a total of 200 mana. Accuracy. Life. Increase attack speed for each map. Item modifier. So this up to that's what eight, eight mods. World Carver, yeah, exactly. Hmm. That's that's twenty four percent attack speed on corrupted maps with eight mods. Not bad. What the fuck is Arcane Wake? That's the big question here. Of, uh, also, that's spending a total of 200 mana, so remember that Blood Magic... Oh yeah, the 48 damage too. Shit like Blood Magic... Uh, 
isn't you know you don't you're not spending mana right if you have blood magic okay so this this looks interesting but hard to say anything else i mean well this alone here is pretty strong right but the big question is what the, what the arcane wake is i'm assuming it's some kind of attack modifier because of the accuracy here and then attack speed and attack damage of course okay just to be clear the last two mods only count mods the actual map item, not from sextants or scarabs, that may apply to it. Oh wait, so scarab is a mechanic for maps. So it could be an currency item. It could be a new atlas. Oh god. What is it? So it, it could be a new, completely new atlas, atlas mechanic then. Because sextants, while, I mean sextants are well, currency items, right? But the scarab could also be like, imagine elder influence, right? Scarabs could be like shits that move, scarabs could be, you know, I have to do this. I have I have to do this, okay? So we have this. Okay. I just need to do this. Just give me a second. Okay, okay, okay. We have this this boy here. This is a scarab from D2. So we could have so we have the Atlas here, right? So what if the scarabs are things that are moving around your Atlas without you doing anything? And then the doing shit on your on your map. So for example, let's say that it, it's here, right? Kinda kinda like you have Elder and Shaper influence, right? So what if it's like a scarab modifier that it, when you hover over to it it shows what kind of modifiers it adds? And fucking no dude. It could be a completely new mechanic, okay? Or it could be just like a new currency item. We don't know, right? This could also be just an out of season April Fool's joke. I would actually not even be surprised if they went with the meme now. <laughs> oh god, dude. Isn't enough shit on the Atlas? Dude, I actually want warbands to be a me Atlas mechanic so you could move the warbands around your Atlas too or something like that. That would be so cool. Or Tempest, like Tempest randomly spawning in your, your, uh, your maps or something like that. I want more mechanics. Give me more mechanics. I mean, okay, we're getting the master mechanics, so just, uh, I guess I'll take that. Yeah, so... All chokes aside, it looks like Scarabs is, assuming they don't choke, is a new currency item that I don't think it would work like six stunts that you apply to the map in your Atlas. Dude, what if this is like a... Okay, so you know how we just we apply sextants in on in individual maps. What if the new atlas will have like, like a, a sorry shaper, but what if this shaper gets taken away from here, and you have like a new thing where you apply scarabs, like let's say that you have different types of scarabs and then you just apply them and then it then applies to all of your maps. I don't know. It's, there's some good shit here. But yeah, okay. I think I think that's pretty much it for this video. It's, you know, let's not get into 
crazy conspiracy theories. But yeah, this looks interesting. I want to know what this arcane wake is. I mean, woke. Oh, post tracker. Oh shit, I need to do that before before we go. Before we go, we're doing this. <sighs> That's yesterday. It's whatever. Oh wait, no, wait, 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 these are... But this is the old one, right? This is the omelette, yeah? So that, they don't have that. This is for the unique, right? I mean, it's only Chris that has mentioned something. Well, except it's there, but... Okay, so it's just Chris. What is th oh wait, what is this? What is this? Wait, I have missed this. I mean, well, eighteen hours ago. Scarab stats tab. You say they go an existing tab, which will be modified to. Oh, so they are items. Okay. So they are an they are they are at an item, okay? In some, they're all with the meme. I mean, they could, they could, okay? They could. And then these are just okay, okay. I think that's pretty much it. Looks interesting. I need to. We need to know the temp chain shit. Could be something again. We need BOVDP to data mine all the mods and where they go. We need that. We need that to get more more information. Oh god, those are gonna be good videos. Me going through the, all the fucking things. Oh no, that's gonna take so many hours. Okay, yeah.